All right, so let's make one of these aliens. Do I need some more light in here? It's a little dark. I don't know if that actually even helps. All right, so I did a few doodles in Procreate, so I'm gonna open one of those up and we'll get started. So reference image, import, one has a turtle shell or some sort of shell or do I want to do this one all right let's try this one first what's up JR what's up Ruby good to see you guys hope all is well Okay, so first let me go through my orthographic uh, mat cap. Uh, let's hide this for now. Let's add a cylinder. Line that up so I can get rid of this grid. Oh, you know what? Let's make it round. Just because I can't help it. I know it's a waste of vertices, but I just like I like the platform. What can you do? What's up, Caligo? Alright, so how do I I should have drawn this so like I could have made it easier for myself. But I'm gonna try to do this pretty quickly. My neighbors are being so loud right now. I think they intuited that I'm just going to go live. And now they're just super loud. So I feel like the body would be... What would this body be? Kind of like that. Let's go ahead and validate it. Let's do X and Y. And then move. And it seems like... Something like that, I think I like. We turn off Z. Okay, maybe something like that. Now let's do the head. We can turn it later. It's always easier to just do. Um, do the shapes. Body. This can be the head. All right, so this can be the head. I have like so much that I want to. Um, <clears throat> There's some robots. There's one artist that I that I really like on Instagram, uh, Bambino something. It, it, uh, they do some really cool. It's already 129k. It's bananas. Um, oh, it's probably because of this. Some like robots, and I've been really looking forward to doing them. So I, I think I'm going to do one of those soon. Uh, let's just validate it. So we have to make this head like shape. Sort of like that. And what's the top of the head like? I feel like it would be something like this. Okay, and these two parts are going to connect. So we'll make them connect a bit.
Okay, and the head looks like it actually gets a little bit um, narrower, narrower on top. Details, schmeetails. I'm always... So, okay, so he does have some sort of, like, shell. We can probably use his shell for my other tutorial. Save. So we'll save this. I don't know if I want to use that shell. It might be too much like a turtle shell. Maybe I'll just make a new, maybe I'll just make a new shell. The shells are pretty easy, so they're not they're not really that easy. Uh, let's do this. Validate it. Let's just call this a shell. What's up, Utica? Or it could be Utisha. Or it could be Uticha, Uticha. But I like to guess. Uh, let's see. Let's do this. Action. Okay, so I put the body back a little bit. Shell, I want to I want to give it a nice hmm. I don't want to bend it that way. I want to bend it on the edges, I think. Let's move it back so we can kind of see what's going on. So if I want to bend this hard because I don't want to I don't want to mess up the shape of the of the actual shell but I really want to bend this part up let's see if I can protect that a little bit better Hmm, I would like it to go like so that this bottom part is like facing forward, but I'm not sure how to actually do that. Or I'm not sure what the best way to do that is. Um, let's try something else. Let's take lasso and... Whoop. I just want to see how this will look. All right, 
let's clear this. It's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. But I think it's good enough that I can fix it. And it's a bit closer to what I wanted. Uh, I don't really like it too much. Let's go back. I like it just kind of like a simple shell like this. It just looks better. And like the more you mess with it, the more it starts to look weird. Let's make it a little smaller. Oh, I think I can work with that. Please let me. What's up, hybrid? What's up, Tim? I have not tested the hybrid thing. I mean, the, the hybrid thing, the remesher. I really don't know like much about it. So, but it'll be cool if it, you know, if it's some tool that just allows me to retopologize re things easier, then that'll be cool. But I know it's going to be. I know I'm going to have to, you know, learn how to use it because I have really no idea what it is, and. How, how to work it but I'm I'm confident that I can learn and if it becomes super useful to me then I'm definitely excited about it all right so let's do something like that I don't think the bottom part is that oh I kind of like that Let's make the back a little bit thinner. Maybe pull it out a little bit. Okay. Let's add a cylinder. Oh uh, yeah, we'll mirror it now. I don't know if I want to mirror it now or later. Radius. Mm, I don't know if I actually do. I want to do. Do I want to do the tube tool for this? Sometimes the tube tool is a bit a little easier. Whoops. Because you can't like move this silly thing. Uh, I'm not sure. We'll leave these for now. These could be arms, possibly. We'll hide. And we'll use the good old tube tool. So they kind of just, they should be, let's see. 
They should come down about here. Path. I don't think we need snap. Just something like this. Make this side bigger. We'll give it a little bit of a bend. And they're, they're actually not that long, so I'll have to move him down. But this one I want bigger. But I'll do I like to do all radiuses because sometimes I don't like just one side being bigger. Let's see what it looks like if we put that in. I think I need to kind of widen this a little bit. Do I like that though? I think I like it better when it's not wide. I think that's better. Something like that. Okay, so we'll mirror it. I like it, and we can actually, let me get rid of these. So we'll use these arms, we'll make these arms, and then we'll clone, and make this legs. This is the speed I cannot work on when I'm making tutorials. So it's fun to just like, you know, fart around and move quickly. Uh oh, my nose is running. Actually, I'm surprised my, surprised I haven't lost, my voice hasn't been breaking. What's up, Anon? What's up, Brennan? What's up, Andrew Smith? Hello, first time watching your live, but your readers helped me a lot with Nomad. Love to hear that, it's so great to hear it. So is this a tortoise? What's up, Mr. Pobbs? Not really. It's like some sort of weird alien, but it does have a shell. I like shells. I wonder if Nomad will ever add any poly modeling. I don't know. I don't know if there's any plans, plans to add it. Um, I might just, you know, just stick to sculpting. Let's do a line so I can just move these clean over. I'll make them a little shorter and then bring them down a bit. So they're still even. And it looks like, did I, did I validate these? Oh no, I didn't. So let's bend these a little bit forward just to give them a little more, a little little something oh I like it do I want to make do I want to put the thing on the usually with things with shells they're connected so do I want to do that and also do I want to I don't know why I keep saying do I want to sometimes can't control what comes out of my mouth. I like it. We'll make it a little wider, and it does need to go. It does need to go up a little bit. I think this is the optimal. The other question is, do I want to put the under part of the carapace? Ooh, maybe that actually looks better. I'm going to validate these. So that I can just use smooth for now. just sort of manipulate this stuff very ever so slightly
I will have to, the face will have to be sufficiently not a turtle. Although it looks like a turtle. And I'm, I think I'm going to make a swirly tail that connects to that, which is very not turtly. But we'll see. Are you looking forward to ZBrush? And if so, are you going to have tutorials? Probably not. I can't imagine learning a whole new program. Also, I think ZBrush is like a month to month thing. And I'm just happy with Nomad Sculpt. So I can't imagine a reason why I would want to uh, put time into another, a different app. If it wasn't, if it was like 10 bucks or something or 20 bucks, like I would buy it and try it out. But if it's like going to be $200 a year, then definitely not. Plus, like I just, I'm not really, I don't really want to learn like a new program at all. Let's, uh, let's see. Let's add a tube tool up here. Do I want to? Do I want to do it like? I have to start thinking of things that are kind of alien, which is a bit, which is a bit difficult, because I'm always kind of thinking about things like not in like an alien kind of way. So now I'm just kind of thinking about whatever I was thinking of doing and just making it a little more weird. Save, here's arms, legs, okay. You know what, let's go ahead and bring this little thing because I hate when I I don't trim it and later on it's like not trimmed I hate it oh you know what would be interesting let's just try this out I don't know if I'm going to I don't know if I'm going to keep this but we'll see uh, body and shell I solo both of those Borders only, no. Sharp border. Uh, no, the other one's better. All. Maybe a little thicker though. Maybe a little thicker. Because I know I'm going to lose a lot. I do like that. A little pinch action around the edges. Oh, it's making the whole thing smaller. I hate that. Let's clear this mask.
Okay, now let's just... Oh, well, you know what? Let's bring the everything else back because this is going to be very important <laughs> because not, nothing's in the right spot. So we'll move this up, make it a little wider, and then just go with move and try to move things into place, maybe. Got his little his little undercarriage. Just use smooth to kind of make this a little bit smaller. And I feel like this needs to be a little bit wider here. Okay, I don't mind that low belly. I'm okay with that. And also, I'm okay with this, like, kind of coming off, I think. Maybe just a little bit. tricky because a little tricky let me try to make this part isn't as perfect as I would like, but I think it's okay. I can spend a million years later fixing it if I need to. Okay, I do want some nice... Let's take the body and let's multi-res it once. Or subdivide it, I mean. Multi-res. Okay, let me catch up real quick. ZBrush also has a weird saving setup and has subtools that have weird logic to create shapes from. Yeah, I've never actually used ZBrush. ZBrush and Wacom Cintiq would be better for posture, though. Yeah, I don't know how people. I don't know how people record. Like I, that would be just. Like it would. I could. This has legs. Like I have a Sketchboard Pro and it has legs, so I could put it up. But it would make it so much harder to record the video because now, like, I just record the video easily from here. So that's another reason why. Um, I don't have this up, like, facing up towards me, unfortunately. Um, okay. Ooh, I actually kind of like that little... I kind of like that, actually. So that might look good. Let's take this with inflate. Oh. Eh. Doesn't really need it yet. Maybe maybe later, but it doesn't really need it yet. I'll worry about that once I get that. Let's let's get this face figured out. Cause I actually don't know what I want to do with his face. Um let's see. I do like the eyes, so we can do that really simply by just adding in the spheres. So there's something like this, maybe a little smaller. Now the mouth, that's the tricky part. That I have to figure out how I want to do the mouth. Because really, it would be nice if, 
If I can make two pieces. Okay, so you know what we'll do? Let's take the head and the body. Let's do a quick save and we'll voxel remesh them together. At like, uh, we'll do it at like 250. Why not? Okay, let me smooth this. So now they are one. Okay, so the mouth, I kind of just want, let's use crease and kind of sketch it on. So I think I want a mouth like this. I think something like that. So if that's what I want, let me pull this out some. Always make the weirdest things. I love it. Okay, so the only thing that I can think of, if I want the, I do want the bottom half of this thing. Oh, it's gonna be tricky because of the tail, isn't it? That's all right. So I think I want the bottom half to be a different color, sort of like that Grumpy's dial, which I like. Um, the artist Grumpy, I think it's the Grumpy art. Uh, really cool stuff, but I, I never usually do kind of that sort of face. So I think that's what's kind of inspired this this sketch. I like his I like his stuff. Uh, there's so many artists that I want to actually sculpt their stuff, but if they're doing 3D sculpting and 3D printing, then I won't I won't really sculpt their things because they've already like explored that. But artists that just do 2D and stuff like that, I love turning their stuff into 3D work. So let's try a good old fashioned trim. Um. Oh, I know my hand's gonna touch these stupid buttons on the side. So let's just let's just give this a try and see how it works. I actually didn't mean to do trim. I meant to do uh, split. I do that all the time, actually. And this I didn't even follow the thing. Okay, good. So usually I voxel remesh each piece after I uh Oh, I didn't even, I missed the, I missed the whole thing. You know, it's probably better for me to do it without the crease because the crease probably just messes things up more than not. So it's a great outline, but, oh yeah. You know what? I have to leave it because I already did all this stuff and I don't feel like doing it again. Let me just try to do a better, a better split. Maybe I'll try from back here. Uh, I think that felt a little better. So I'll remesh this, and I'll remesh that. Now they're separate, so let's just give everything a soft smoothing. Oh, why does it look so? Why does it have to look so bad? These edges, which I'm not too too worried about, because we're probably going to smush that together if I'm honest. But I just I just needs to be smooth. And do I want the bottom? I think I want the bottom jaw out a little bit further. I 
think I like that. But this bottom jaw is very, there we go, that's, that's better. Might have to use pinch or something. But it actually looks decent. It doesn't look too bad. Pinch or flatten. Let's try pinch and just see what it does. Try pinch on the top. Just to try to make it look a little clean, a little more clean. I want to test out to see if how it looks with this part going higher. That might be a little bit more traditional. But I guess I could always open this up a little bit too. What do we think? Which one do we like better? Do we like the mouth open a little bit? What about the second eye? Oh, I usually only do one eye because it's easier. Like if I have the one eye, I'll do the one pupil. I can do everything and I, then I can just mirror it. So sometimes the mirror can get in the way if I'm designing the eye and the mirror is, sometimes it can get in the way. Not all the time, but sometimes. Oh, I don't like the top of the head. It looks like a like a cocker spaniel or something. Uh, I think I might like the mouth open. That way I can use some teeth. I can put teeth in there. I see the... I look, uh, let me see. for me is very yeah yeah I don't I don't I have autosave off I don't use autosave I actually hate autosave I can't remember why I just remember when I first started sculpting I would hate when it would like be autosaving and then sometimes I would have autosave on and then I would lose something I would lose like I would my iPad would die and then I would open it up and it would just go back to the beginning and I was like I give up on autosave uh, Neo, I'm using Nomad Sculpt. I see a lot of cool looking sculpts on Instagram that look like it's made in ZBrush, but if you read caption, it's done in Nomad. Amazing. I don't actually know what a ZBrush look is. Like, I can tell what a, a blender, if someone says they did something in Blender, you can tell because it literally is like all polygons, just like, it's like that style. But I don't know what it, I don't know how something would look like it's from ZBrush. But I get it how people don't, you can't really, because you can't really sculpt on Blender. Like you can just, you can make shapes and put them together in interesting ways, but you can't really sculpt. That's kind of, kind of interesting. I'm trying to pinch this together a little bit, make it look a little cl cleaner. I have to put some teeth in there or something, don't I? Something, I guess. But maybe I'll close the mouth. We'll see. We shall see. Okay, so let's take this body and I think I want to squeeze it together. Just kind of like close it up a bit. And the cool thing, oh, why does it look so bad there? Hmm, let me try smoothing. I can't tell which part kind of looks wrinkly. Oh yeah, I think it's I think it's the body part. It looks a little wrinkly. I like different pieces that I can 
colors separately very easily. I like that. Okay, so the eye. What is the deal with the eye? And the truth is, I have no idea. I think I want to flatten this a bit. Okay. So let's let's use inflate and I don't know if I want to just I don't know if I want to have inflate around the eyes. Cuz it will kind of make him look a little bit angry. And I don't really want him to look angry. But we need something there for sure. So maybe a small inflate. Small inflate works. See if I want to drag the, the actual shape of the head out a little bit here or not. No, that looks that looks bad. Oh, there you know, there was something that I completely forgot to do with this eye. I meant to flatten it out. I don't really like when they're so round and bulgy. So we'll change the pivot. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I don't mind it bulgy, but not like just big old sphere bulgy. Okay, I think I like that. Do we want to do the inflate on the bottom? The only thing I don't like is the eye feels a bit What are they banging on in there? Uh, hopefully you guys can't hear that. use the move tool I want the eyes to look round so I don't like it when different parts of the anatomy you know what maybe this needs to be like eh, no I think it looks okay Okay, so let me, th how do I want to do the, the other part of the eye? It's tough. So let's try with, let's validate this. Let's try with mask. Let me do a quick save. And I guess I can just subdivide it. So I'm thinking something like that. Or should it be in the middle? Maybe it should be in the middle. Let's take a look. Yeah, the middle is better. Um, let's see if we can get this cleaner. I might be able to select mask, ellipse. Wait a minute. 
Is there symmetry beyond? I don't think so, but... That might be too big. What's up, Malik? I do live stream. Not as much as I should, but I do. <laughs> I do. I like it. The thing is, it's like I, so I, I, I always feel like if I live stream, I wind up like not wanting to go to the bathroom and like not getting up or doing anything that I might want to do. So sometimes I just, sometimes I'm like, eh, well, if I record it, then I can like edit it and the video's cleaner when I make the edits. Because now when I do the time lapse of this, I have to download it at 7:20, and um, but it's really no excuse. I actually I do like doing like doing live streams. What am I doing here? Unmask. So I think I like this. Oh, let's see. Mask, unmask. I just don't know if I want this to go in a little bit more. I mean, hopefully that's, I mean, it looks alien to me. I mean, obviously it looks froggish, but it still looks alien to me. I like it. So what do I want to do with this, though? I think I want to, I want to try both extracting it. Which, that actually looks pretty good, but... this down it's still too big there is a way to also like do it in like a negative way I think I want to see what happens if I do it in a negative way and then I take it and oh that's gonna be perfect that's exactly what I wanted. So that's actually a lot easier. Might as well see if I can match it up perfectly, but I don't even think I need to, honestly. I think that's good. I just wish that pivot, center, pivot. I wish that I could uh, get it so the pivot was exactly how I wanted it. How long is this thing, actually? Oh, there's pieces on the back. That's why it's weird. Okay, so let me trim these pieces on the back. Now do... Go back to this piece, back to gizmo, pivot, center, pivot. So that's better. At least I'm in the middle of that. And then I can change the pivot so that it's actually useful. Which would be... Something like that. I think that's good. Okay, so now I just want to I want it to be just on the surface. Okay, if I want to make it more more of a curvature, I think that's probably the best that we're going to get. And for this side, since it's only this side that's still within, I'll just use move to kind of bring that up. I'm just using move to kind of push it up from underneath. Oh, whatever. I was worried about how much over the surface it was going to be, but it's actually fine. I guess I can ch I can chill. <clears throat> Uh, the other thing that I was going to do was make an indention, like make it an indent in the eye, but I don't think I actually need to do that. So I'm going to go back to the eye, mask, clear. I think that's 
actually better than what I would have expected. So this fear is 23K, it doesn't need to be. So I'm just gonna go ahead and decimate that now. Let's take a look. Look exactly the same. This sphere also doesn't need to be that big, so miscellaneous. And I'll decimate this because it's just a sphere. We'll leave it there though. I do like my spheres to be nice when I bring them over into Blender. So we'll save this. Looks good. Uh, we'll go ahead and give him a quick eyelash. Because why why wouldn't aliens also have eyelashes? I know we've all asked ourselves that. <laughs> I'm such a nerd. I probably shouldn't do the extra for the eyelash, but sometimes I just can't be stopped. I've decided. Okay, uh, snap is off. We'll go ahead and make this a little bigger here. A little small, smaller. We'll make this tip. Okay, we'll bury this in there. Oh, this might be too high. I probably should just. Outside. Please don't be loud outside. I gotta concentrate on my random weird thoughts in order to be my most oy, my most creative. We'll just do a regular. I'll just do a regular uh, eyelash. That's just a little bit bigger on this side. I kind of want to do one underneath too, but I don't think I'm not going to do it for this one. Let's see if I want to do a profile. I've been really digging the profiles lately. Where's the little pink knob? Where's the little pink knob? Oh, twist. That's what I meant. That's what I was looking for. Twist. Brain fart. Do we like it? I kind of like it. But I was like a good twist. So we'll mirror it, validate this, um, we'll add a mirror. This will be eye whites, even though they might not be whites, but that's so I know that they're the eyeballs and not the. Oh, this is the lashes. This is the pupil, so I always call those P1. P1. We'll go ahead and add a mirror. P1. Okay, looking good. Look at these weird things. I don't know if I should do something else or just keep them. I kind of like them, but I think I want to put a little bit of a bend in them. I think. Why is that pivot center pivot? I kind of like that a little bit better. I was thinking about putting them f a little bit further down, but I'm not sure. Um. So since I'm not sure, let's look at it from the front. So now they just look like that. 
which I don't know if I like because the profile is very important. You know what? I actually don't mind them this high. But I don't like them that close to the eyes. So I wonder if I can put a weird bend in them. when they're further down but I guess I could always do some add some extra stuff <laughs> yes he lives uh, let's see let's see let's see let's see well I like the other shape better I do like the other shape better which is like Okay, so we'll keep that there, but you know what? We'll just hide them, and then we'll just uh, make sure that that's what we want. That's the easiest thing to do. Looks funny without anything up there. Uh, let's see. I was thinking about something like this. I don't know. Let's just see. Let's see what we get. Let's see what happens. So... Okay, so what if we just had something that was round God, I wish this thing would just move the way I want it to move. Like it just always so difficult. kind of interesting but they probably look a little bit too much like dog ears right I think they look a little bit too much like dog ears Ooh, that's kind of nice, though. What do we think? Do we like these little thingies? Uh, pivot, center, pivot. That doesn't help. We'll do a line. Just want to open them up a little bit, maybe. Do they look too much like... Uh... His eyes are actually way up there. But that's okay, because if I ever print him... I've noticed that when you print little characters, you kind of want them looking up, otherwise they look silly.
kind of cool. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Let's take. Let's check out the other ones. Cause like there's no rule saying that I only have to have one pair of funny looking things. But that's the beauty with aliens is like there's really like no nothing is like wrong. Like nothing could ever be wrong. Cause like what's to, who's to say what is wrong? Like it's an alien. Mm, I don't know. They look kind of funny to me. Let's trash them. But I do like the idea of like some little horns or something there. Let me know when I when I go when I do too much. Is it even inside the skin? I want it inside the skin at least. But that's how quickly things can get crazy. Okay, I like it. Now I did want him to have a nice curly tail because turtles don't have tails. So even though he's kind of not that much turtle-ish, I think I do want to give him that tail. So let's just do left. We'll do path. Or do we want to do curve or do we want to do... If we do curve, we can do something crazy like this. But I think that might be too much. Maybe it's not. Let's try. Let's see if we can make this thing round first off. And let's make this side bigger. Let's give it a little more oomph. Okay, um, hmm. It would be kind of cool if his tail was like a bit more flat. There's a few ways to do that. I think I can just do gizmo and literally just like stretch it out, which is kind of nice. There's also the profile, but maybe profile. Profile looks crazy. It actually looks nice that it's touching each other. I like that it sounded weird, but I think I like it not completely. Oh, but you know what? I just, I do want to try all of these because this, I think, can be smaller. I think I like that a little bit better. And this bottom side, I'll make that a little bit bigger so it coincides with the rest of his body. Now, it's just the top part of the body. body. I really like the tail, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and just validate it and call it. Let's do a quick save in case this thing wants to crash on me. And we'll just call this tail. <laughs> What's up, Juan Carlos? Anon? I, I get crazy, I get crazy, I, I get crazy. I might have to try to find that song whenever I 
get around to editing this this creature. So we'll just blend this with the rest of the body, which would be here. Make sure everything matches up. It's decent. This is the bottom part. So this part needs to also, it doesn't have to go all the way up the tail, but see if we can clean this up a little bit and just make it look like his tail's a little, his foot's a little chunky back there, isn't it? But maybe I can color it the same color. That might be nice. Or better yet, maybe I'll just make this smaller. Smooth this a little bit. Okay, so I think the easiest thing to do now would be to do a quick save. And, oh, do I want to put the, yeah, you know what? I got to stop messing around. Body, tail, let's just vox remesh this. We're going to go big at like 300 since I've already done some stuff with the other parts. Do I want to do the legs together with it? That is the big question. Um... Wait, did I already? I, I guess I just did. Let's see what it looks like with the legs. Body, tail, arms validate, legs validate. How big are they, actually? I think that's important, too. I feel like if, if, a, if something is really small, then it looks bad when you box where you mesh it together. So I'm just going to subdivide, or yeah, subdivide these if I can find the, whoop. So maybe that's good. So arms, legs, body, tail. Is there anything else I want to add to the body? I don't think so. Wait, I got to make sure, what part is this? Oh, that's the body split. So let's name this lower jaw. I just don't want to get that confused. So body tail, arms, legs, voxel remesh at 300. Okay. You can smooth that. And maybe we'll, what I wanted to do before was add a little bit of an inflate here. Well, I do want symmetry. Uh, you know what, we'll just leave it. I think it looks better smooth. Whoop. Oh no. So that looks beautiful. It's nice and smooth. This looks good too. Let's see if we can get this a little bit more beautiful looking oh no okay so all right so obviously with the tail the symmetry isn't exactly the same and that happens sometimes with the move tool so let's just move that out a bit which messes up everything perfect let's turn, turn symmetry off and then try that again it doesn't have to be exactly perfect but That's not good. Oh yeah, that's the only downside with the freaking tube tool is it doesn't like line up with everything else, unfortunately. So let's just spread this out. Okay, I'm cool with that. Okay, what else do we want to do with this little fella? Oh, let's go ahead and let's do his inflate and like, let's make 
is a little small. Oh, wait a minute. It's... All right, I see what you're doing to me. Turning symmetry off. Let me make sure the symmetry is decent. Yeah, symmetry looks decent. I just want to have a place where, uh, does that bug me or does it not? I'll smooth all this out too so it looks a little bit more natural. Save. Oh, and some nostrils too, right? Maybe it'll look. It might look a little bit too froggish if I add nostrils, though. I'm not sure. I'm not certain. aren't the typical eye dots, but I kind of like them. I do kind of like them. Let's, uh... Part of me wants to do them all the way down there, but that's actually a lot of work. <laughs> and I don't know if I feel like doing it. And I don't know if it'll look, I don't know how good that will look. It does look kind of cool. Uh, you know what? I guess I like it. I'll take it back. We'll go ahead and decimate them, though. Since they're a really simple shape, I can probably decimate them again. I just don't like... Um, sometimes when I bring stuff over into Blender... Or even when you add lights and stuff, sometimes if things are too low poly, wait, this is bugging me. Is this actually ribs I'm seeing? I probably should have smoothed it out before. But that's okay. Boom. Okay, a little bit of something there. Do we want to do nostrils? For nostrils, maybe I'll just do good old fashioned clay tool. But how big do we want them? That's the, the real question. Maybe just like little, like implied nostrils. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know about the nostrils. 
It'd be kind of funny if I put like a big nose on him too. Or maybe a horn. Let's just see what it looks like. Why not? That's the problem. This is why. There's probably a way. Is there a way to like make the tube tool just straight? It'd be so helpful. Um, what do I need to do? Re do this, this. Mm. Agreed, I don't really like it either. It's kind of interesting though. Interesting. But that's why you do like stuff like this, so you can so you can just like fart around and see what's good and see what's not. I actually like it really curved like that. That actually looks interesting to me. I think. Interesting enough to delve back into this piece. Let's do radius. I don't I hate I don't know why the gizmo is grayed out. That always bugs me too. Cause when I'm like making classes and stuff and I'm like talking about the gizmo, like you would definitely not see it because it's grayed out. But like why is it grayed out when you can like it's an active button that you can press? I don't understand why it's grayed out. Help me, Stefane. Tell me why. Give me the reason. It, make it a little bit wider. Make it a little bit more. I don't know. It's weird. I mean, I probably won't keep it, but something about me kind of likes it. Let me do a quick save. Validate it. It's weird. It's an alien. It's still not straight, but that's okay. Oh, which means that this isn't going to work. So that's okay. We'll leave it for now. We'll take it. Should I take it off for now or leave it? What's up, Marquise? Oh, I kind of like it. Let's take a look at it without. Like, it kind of feels, like, I like it both ways. I really like it both ways. With the nose and without the nose. Okay, so since we're playing around with nose things, I might as well see what it looks like if his nose was a little more prominent. I mean, I did that really quick, but I actually really like it. I probably should have. Let's do pinch, and let's pinch this, kind of clean this up a bit here. Make it look like, make it look like we're working in ZBrush. Aha, see what I did there? And let's see what it looks like if we do a little fold here. If we do a little inflate business. 
well, let's do it a little bit more, right? And then we do a crease. I don't want it to look too stitchish. No. But I do kind of like that. Kind of makes me want to voxel remesh this whole thing together because that's not good. So let's just do like 350 and remesh it. And I should be able to smooth that out nicely. That's what I do. If it doesn't smooth out nicely, and that, I don't know why that keeps getting like that, but I need to do pinch again. If it doesn't smooth li nicely, do a voxel remesh. So it will, um, so it'll smooth. And part of me actually wants it a little wider. Okay. Okay, so I kind of like that width and we also have the nose. We'll just name it optional nose. What time is it? Oh, it's, it's past dinner time. Maybe it makes me think of like, what's his name from uh, Frozen? Pavlov or something, what's his name? Oslo? I think he has a kind of a nose like this. I kind of like it. The only problem is Oh, this, this symmetry is killing me. I should have just used a, a, a sphere. All right, let's do local. Oh, the local's even worse. I can't even do my gizmo edit. And yes, gizmo edit is editing the gizmo, which is now editing the symmetry, but it's hard to get right. That's decent. God, can they talk any louder out there? All right. All right, let's keep it. I don't remember what I was trying to do. Oh, I didn't like this big, like, section there. Okay, uh, what's next? Did I want to put some teeth in there? Let's do a quick save. Let's add, I'll do the teeth the norm normal way. I do teeth, like I do everything else. Use a sphere and mirror. These are my two most powerful tools in Nomad. Give me a sphere and I will give you magic. I don't know what kind of teeth we want to give him. I think we just want some evenly spaced out round teeth, maybe. I don't know if uh, I don't know if squarish teeth will look look right. Okay, that's right, this is an alien. So, it's gotta be alien-ish. Whatever that means. So, for, for me, that means clone and make really cool teeth. Like, maybe teeth like, I'm not gonna, do, I'm not, not gonna get that. Um, 
creative, but you know that one seal? I don't know if it's a monk seal or a leopard seal. It might be a leopard seal teeth, but if you've never Googled that, if you've never seen leopard seal teeth, let me tell you, they are amazing. Let's give them little like fins, fin-like teeth. And you know what? I don't even know if I want like that many teeth. Maybe just like validate these. Clone both of them. Move them down. And maybe even just like leave them like that. Make sure that let's do pivot center pivot. I want it to be on the out like lining of the mouth. Okay, that's good. Kind of like that. I mean, I can always change it later. Uh, the only thing I'm having problems with now visually is this bottom part of the mouth. Maybe I should use move so it's a little more smooth. Yeah, there we go. That's a little bit better. We'll get pinch in here to clean this up a bit, as usual. Make it look like we're skilled sculptors even though we don't know what the heck we're doing all right let's push this part of the head in because we don't really want the shell to like go into the head that would just be weird so maybe I'll adjust this a little bit. Okay. Now, do we want to just do a turtle thing? I don't know. I don't know what I want to do with this thing. I love it. I like doing turtle shells. But maybe that's not the move. And I don't think I'm skilled enough to design something better than the turtle shell. Uh, let's see. Sometimes I forget how to make them. Is it this way or that way? I think it might be this way. We'll just see how this looks. So I'm not too worried about this because if I if I wind up liking how this looks, I'll have to Oh, well, that's kind of not what was intended. Gotta be careful because all this stuff. I'd have to go back over it. Once it's colored, I'll go back over it, whatever color I make it, in a darker version. So I'll use the stroke painting. So that will that will make it more perfect. Let's 
pretty though, I think. think I can pinch I really want to I don't think I can just do a pinch from nothing I don't think I think I'd have to do a crease with sub the only problem is it's hard with the symmetry so we'll see if this actually works Let's hide this for a minute so we can take a look. I actually think it came out pretty good. <clears throat> okay, this, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna multi-res it, or subdivide it, do a quick save. difficult with that with the mirror or the symmetry huh. not too bad if I'm being honest not too bad okay the arms do we want to do a little bit of like a faux toes? Because we can do that. Smooth it a little bit. It's not bad, I don't think. I wonder if I can just do it with drag instead. Mm, no, it's a little it's a little finicky with drag. Would have made my life easier, but so it's easier to add on a little bit of clay and then drag it down and then use the Use the ground. That might not be enough. Uh, I kind of like it. It's kind of small, but I, I don't mind that, I don't think. So let's take trim and just trim the bottom because I'm sure the bottom looks crazy. And since I'm going to put this STL on my Patreon, i got to make sure my head doesn't get in frame. I want the bottom to be flat. Okay, I don't I don't think I want to do anything else to this because then literally I'll just be here forever. And because I love the way that it looks. So let's hide my reference image, my little sketch. I really like this view, so let's save this view. Let's change from matte cap to lit PBR. Uh, what are these? Oh, these are the, let's validate these. These are the head. Uh, what are these head? Um, we'll just call them hairs. These are the teethies, we'll validate those. P1 is the pupils, lashes, you know what, we can validate all of these. Uh, yeah, even, yes, even those. Oh, this is the horns, or whatever they are. 
lower jaw, this sphere we can delete, eye whites we can validate. Okay, so let's do a quick save. I guess we're leaving the nose on there for now. Okay, it looks good with or without, to be honest with you. So let me select everything and make it neutral color for lighting. Okay, I don't know why I just messed up my view. Now let me put this up. Let's turn the environment off. And let's turn post-process on. Sometimes I don't do this, but since I'm doing it for video, let's make it look the best that it can look. We'll add our first light. Let's bring this up to two. Ooh, and I also wanted to do subsurface. I think we'll just stick with this for now. So this will be our key light, obviously. From the, I always have it there. Let's move it. Let's move it over there. Let's move it up, actually. Put it right there, even though it doesn't matter where it is, but this will be the rim light, which I always make it the rim light. So this light is going to be the rim. Back here. Maybe something like that. We'll turn that up back there. Let's make it soft. <sighs> Noise. All right, so let's add another sunlight and we'll just call this R2. And we'll just move this. I thought the lights always, am I on? I don't know why I thought the lights. No, I actually don't want to line. I like to just be able to move them left and right instead of like, how can I change the global? I'm so confused. There's just like always little things that like I think of often. Okay, we'll put another light just to like brighten up this side. And then for our last light, um, TD for top down, we'll make this a spotlight. We'll put it from above. Actually, let's put it a little bit on this side. Let's get rid of that nose for a second. Why can I never find it? Oh, optional nose. Okay. Yeah, we don't want it that. I don't want it that bright. Something like that I think looks good. Let's see what it looks like with our environment on. Whoops. Which one need to turn down? Just give a little bit of that fill light, which I think looks good. And last but not least, before I, I don't know if I want to color him in this video. I can do a random color, but I might change it later. Um, oh, subsurface. So if the body is subsurface, let's bring it down a little bit. These can also be subsurface. So really get rid of that. There's really dark shadows. Dark shadows are nice, but I like when they're, I like the subsurface because it, it's almost like it um, It uses whatever color it is to color the shadows more that color versus just having black shadows because black shadows are not very interesting. What was I doing? I 
and I'm just turning it down because I don't want it too I don't want them too crazy just a little bit teeth And the bottom part, do I want the bottom part as well? I might not even need the bottom part. Maybe the bottom part of the shell. Okay, cool. So now I always check the lights. This light feels a little too bright, actually. So I'll turn that down, and maybe TD I can turn up a little bit. So it's a little brighter there, but I like it being the rest of it being darker. Although now it feels a little too dark. But maybe the environment I can turn up a little bit. Just make everything a little brighter. like I should have well, I guess it looks okay it looks a, uh, it's not so bright it looks really bright on the screen but it's actually not not that bright so let's save this I think it looks good uh, so let's do a save as and I don't know what color I should make it why not mirror to either left to right or vice versa to get the symmetry back? The bigger nose more than the horn. Okay, I've learned about your channel today and it's awesome. I finally finished two beginner tutorials. Nice. <laughs> nice. I'm glad that you're doing the tutorials. Those are always really fun to make. What's up, Billy Hooper? Everyone, make sure you go check out Billy Hooper. Anyone who's watching, make sure you go check him out. Subscribe. We are the pioneers of Nomad Sculpt, putting in the work. Um, since I haven't, since I don't have an iPad, I downloaded Android Emulator for Nomad, and the problem is I can't zoom it out with my finger. Um, Usually, if something is designed for the iPad, I don't know. I mean, yeah, that's unfortunate. You probably do. You do need an iPad or some sort of tablet that has, you know, pressure and capability and stuff like that. Uh, obviously, I use an iPad, so I'm partial to iPads. So, but hopefully, you figure something out. It would be nice to put a little, some little marsh, not marshmallows. Um, mushrooms but I don't think I saved them from my other from my other sculpt but anyway let's uh, I feel like he would be probably like the cliche alien colors like maybe something like that this would be maybe a similar color but lighter maybe even close to what color he is now this can be color this should be maybe like a bone color can be let's go back to this color and just
these. Maybe a darker version of this, I think. The teeth. Uh, maybe the teeth can be... Grayish? You don't really see animals with too much, too much of a grayish tongue, I don't think. Uh, this can be... Oh, let's go back to this color, just make it really dark. You know what, let's just go, we'll do black. This, maybe we'll do similar. The eyes, I don't know if we, I don't think we want to do white. Maybe we want to do like a... Interesting color. Okay, this. Go back to this because that color doesn't really work for me. I like it. We'll save. This is the save as. And oh, we also need to color the nose. But what color would it be? I think it would be something like that. I still don't know if I like it with or without. It's difficult. All right, so we'll, we'll, I think we'll call it, because I need to go to the bathroom one, and I need to eat dinner. <clears throat> but let me make sure all these bells and whistles are on. Yes, everything is on the way that I like. And now that I have it colored, let's just... Check out the exposure. We'll make that a little brighter. Let's just test out the lights again. I'm actually going to look at the screen, so I want to see what you guys are seeing. Oh, let's make this like a, a little bit warm. Let's change the background. This is merely just for my aesthetic. Pleasures. So we'll do that. Um, what else was I going to do? Oh, I want to test out the rest of the lights. That's, the light is doing something. And this is top down. Okay, good. I like it. This one maybe can get a little bit brighter even. Just brighten up that side a little bit. Maybe we'll make it cool. Let's see what it looks like if it's a little cooler. So we have the warm on one side, cool on the other side. Okay, we'll save. And give it a little turntable action. Okay, just spin in the middle, brother. Just spin in the middle, can't we? There we go. All right, so that's it. I'm going to post it. I don't think I'm going to do anything else to it. I might, I might mess around with the colors later, but I think I'm going to post it on the Nomad Sculpt uh, Facebook group as soon as I, as soon as I export it.
So I appreciate you guys watching. This was a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys <clears throat> enjoyed it. And yeah, I'm going to try to do a lot more live streams because these are a good time. All right, so last but not least, it is looking a little dark. Maybe I need to turn this up a bit. I always like to do as much as I can in the app. So I only have to like run it through um, Photoshop just to like adjust sometimes the darkness or something like that. I just want to see, ooh, I think I might like the eyes better like this. What do we think? Or do we like them glossy? We'll keep them glossy. I agree. All right, let's export this. Uh, we'll do screen. And we'll export. All right. So I think that's about it. Appreciate you guys swinging by. Uh, yeah, give me an upvote if you haven't. Subscribe. Check out Billy Hooper. Give him an, up, give him an upvote. Wait, do they do upvotes here? Thumbs up. Give me a like. A like. You know what? I was on uh, I was on Reddit earlier. I was farting around on Reddit, and Reddit is like the upvote. So that's what I was thinking of. All right, catch you guys on the next one. Oh, and I'm putting this, I'm going to put this right on my Patreon.